Hey Jetty Rockers, welcome to Jetty Rocks Fishing, and I'm Mike D. Well today we're going to do another catch and cook, but we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to be out there catching some sheep's head, and when we bring them back and we get to the cleaning table, we're going to be taking out the row. This time of year we got some sheep's head that once in a while you'll get some that have some eggs in them, and I've been told that they're really good, so we're going to try it. I've never tried it before, this will be a first for me, but we're going to try some, we're going to get the row out, we're going to deep fry some, and see how it tastes. So you check out these clips of us catching a couple sheep's head, and I'll see you guys at the cleaning table. Another good fish. Another really good fish. Come on, buddy. Come on. Awesome. All right. <laughs> Two fish. Sweet. Yeah, he got that in there good. That fish was not coming out. Awesome fish. All right, guys, I got my sheep's head here. And these ones happen to have some row in them. So I'm going to show you how to get the row out of a sheep's head. Before you fillet them, just go ahead and open up the belly. You're going to come behind this fin if you want to do this you're going to come up a little bit just like that so you make an incision like that that way you can get in here and grab all that row that's the stuff that you're looking for and pull it out like that and then here's what you got this is the fish row and I remember back when I was a kid growing up with my grandfather, we used to eat the fish row out of freshwater fish all the time. And I have never yet, as an adult, eaten saltwater fish row. Nope, just dro almost dropped it. So I'm going to try that for the first time. Because I have been hearing from a lot of people that it is really good. So we're going to give that a shot. Well, I'm going to go ahead and clean the rest of my sheep head. I got about eight of them. And some of them have row, some of them don't. So I'm going to get all the row out, and then we'll look at it at the end. And see how much row I actually have. Now, I would not recommend you kill a bunch of sheephead just for the row. That's kind of counterproductive because this is our stock for the upcoming years, all this row. But if you catch a couple of sheephead in your limit and a couple of them are pregnant and they have row, you know, instead of just wasting it, we can find out something to do with it. And it might actually be good. We're going to find out. I hear it's excellent. A lot of people tell me it's outstanding. So we're going to try it. But don't kill your sheep head just to get the row, and don't keep a whole bunch of females just so you can have the row. You know we got to do, we got to exercise some um, restraint and some conservation. You know with the sheep head, we're only allowed eight now. You know if we had, we're allowed fifteen. I probably wouldn't even keep any females if they were really thick and fat. I'd probably let them go. But uh, try not to keep them if you if you can. Don't keep real big pregnant females. You know, that day that I caught these, I wasn't really paying attention, but normally I would actually let a fish go that is this full of row. row. All right, guys, well, I'm in the kitchen. I have my fish row here, got a whole bunch of it. Uh, this sheep head that I just uh, caught the other day. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna use the uh, same breading that I use when I fry fish, the house archery seafood breading. And we're just gonna coat it with the breading. About like that. And then we're just going to deep fry it. And uh, hopefully it'll taste good. I hear that it's really good. I've never actually tried it on a saltwater fish, especially sheephead. But I have done it with bluegill and brim when I was a kid. My grandparents used to eat it all the time. And it was pretty good, if I remember right. So I'm going to get all these breaded, just about like this. And then I'll see you guys in a second. All right, guys, I got all my fish row breaded. And I got to say, 
Looks pretty interesting. Kind of reminds me a little bit like chicken livers, kind of, in a way. So I'm kind of interested in how this is going to turn out. But it looks pretty good, so I'm kind of anxious to get the fryer going and see how this tastes. Kind of weird. Alright guys, well my oil's hot, so I'm going to go ahead and try these, try these out. One, two, three, put four in there at first. There we go, so let these cook and uh, we'll see how they turn out. Alright guys, I think this batch is done. Smells good. There we go. That's what it looks like. Hot. Pretty interesting. Well, let's cook the rest of them up and see how this stuff tastes. So we'll go ahead and put some more in there. Kind of a weird thing. All right, well that's all of it. I'm gonna let these cook and give this a try. All right, guys, last batch is done. All right, well, this is what we're looking like, guys, right here. Doesn't look too bad. Does look kind of appetizing. Well, let's go try this out. All right, guys. Well, here I am. I have my fish right here, my sheep head row. We're going to try it out. So, try the little piece first. And that's what it looks like inside. It smells pretty good. It tastes like liver, which is kind of weird. If you like chicken livers, you will definitely like this, without a doubt. It's got that chicken liberty type taste to it. Very interesting. It's not terrible, guys. It's not. It's not terrible. I'm not gonna say it's my favorite thing to eat, not by any any means. But I do like chicken liver. I am a chicken liver fan, and this is very similar to chicken liver, which is kind of strange that it actually tastes like that. Huh? Well, now I know. I've never eaten it before. I've been told by a lot of people that that sheephead roe is excellent. That fish roe in general is really good. I've never tried it, never been one to try it, but I figured, hey, I caught some, they had some roe in them, give it a try, make a video, and share my experience with you guys. Well, it's okay. It's not terrible. It's good. And if you're like a really big chicken liver fan, you will really like this a lot. I really think you would. So, there it is. Fish roe. It's not too bad. Not at all. Really shocked on that. I thought it would be good, but I didn't think it would taste like liver. That's pretty weird. But hey, there it is. Well, guys, I want to thank each and every one of you all for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. It's something a little different. And uh, I want to thank every one of you guys that have subscribed to this channel. You guys are awesome. I really appreciate your all support, and thank you very much for being a part of this channel and being a part of this family. Well, guys, so I get to see you again soon here on the water. Tight lines, y'all. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button.
Check it out. Hey, Joey Rockers. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'd like to invite you all to go follow me on my Facebook page at Jetty Rocks Fishing and also my Instagram page. I also have a JRF apparel page, which will send you a link to my Teespring page where I have some cool shirts and some mug. I appreciate you guys very much. Well, check out the description in the bottom of this video. I'll have the links. Tight lines, Jetty Rockers.